What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. Now today we're going to go over this week's Global Labs patch notes, or should I say last week's Global Labs patch notes. As always, remember lab server changes usually take around two weeks to appear on our live servers, assuming the developers are happy with the feedback given. Now this one is a bit late, sorry about that. Not much to go over. I was under the impression we were going to get to test out the node war changes in global labs this weekend with the gms but they communicated basically nothing to us in english so that's a little disappointing what is interesting though is the new defense indicator features so whenever you use a skill you will see one of three icons now if you see a right icon it's going to tell you you are in iframe a yellow indicator which tells you you are in super armor and the blue indicator tells you you are in frontal guard this is possibly one of the best additions they've had to date in terms of visual information. Knowing when your protection ends and starts is important, not only in PvP, but also PvE. It should go a long way into helping us understand why we get CC'd in certain parts of skills, despite the skill saying it's protected. It's very good as a new player tool. The only criticism I have for it at the moment is that it seems to be solely PvE protection. So for example, it shows red to show you are in iframe despite not being an iframe in pvp which leads me to believe that the indicators take into account only pve protection if you pvp you'll know what skill protections only work in pve and vice versa but i would like to see a pvp option for those trying to learn pvp and have an easier time doing so what is protected in pvp versus pve hopefully that made sense it says that also while in q block you won't see both sa and frontal guard but on test server, you can actually see both indicators. So it may be something that they added later on after they came out with the notes. So overall, very interesting feature. Hopefully we see that very soon. Nova Awakening also received some buffs as well as some pre-awakened skill buffs. Most notably, Enter the Darkness is now Frontal Guard instead of Super Armor. I think this is good. Damage negation is important as you combo and deal damage for Nova since honestly, outside of her guard, she just takes way too much damage for being a tank themed class and uh, she just dies too much in her combo some of the node war changes we received in test server are to win conditions so if the defending fort is not destroyed the defenders automatically win gather up teleport in the beginning of the node war can be used up to 10 minutes from the war start but only if the central node has not been destroyed if you use it while you have two or more nodes it will teleport you to the central node so the one connecting all the other nodes if not, then it will teleport you to the node that you fought for last. If you own three or more nodes and your fort at the central node gets destroyed, the connecting nodes will be liberated, meaning securing the central node as you expand is still incredibly important. And if you summon siege weapons, you can move them to certain nodes you own strategically. The amount of medals has also been changed to depend on how many nodes you win and what tier nodes they are. And the node war loot shop that appears at the end of the victorious node war will now reside in each city as an NPC, much like current guild managers. It's a good change. It makes sense instead of just having an NPC that will only show up when you win, despite you having the currency to use it. You can now use it whenever you want. The UI of party list has been changed to allow you to shrink the coverage so it doesn't take too much space in your UI. That's a good change. The controller support for the game continues to flush out and will be releasing in Korea in about two weeks, which means we should see it in live servers about three weeks from now. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. What do you guys think about the defense icon feature? What are your thoughts on the gradual changes they're making to Nodors? Hopefully we can actually test this out before it hits live servers. I would imagine it's still a little ways away if we're not having any sort of indication as to when they're going to release it for Korea even. Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.